fish that can climb trees to a solar-powered sea slug. Here are 10 underwater creatures with weird abilities. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. Number 10, Archerfish. This small tropical fish generally measures about 10 centimeters long, although some species can grow larger. As the name implies, Archerfish shoot the prey, usually insects, with water droplets expelled from its mouth, and their aim is Hawkeye Sharp. Adult fish normally strike the target on the first shot at distances up to three meters above the water surface. Researchers have found that the creature's uncanny accuracy has to do with accounting for the way light bends as it strikes the water. The archerfish can compensate its aim to find an insect's actual position as opposed to its perceived position as viewed from underwater. The creature also takes gravity into account as it gauges distance between itself and its prey. Spit doesn't travel in a straight line as gravity will pull it down. The archerfish compensates for that effect called a spit fall. It enables the fish to better adjust the power of its shot according to the size of its prey. So not only are these fish expert archers, they're aquatic physicists as well. Number 9 ever hear of a fish that can climb a tree? Well, the tree climbing perch is said to do so, hence its name. Native to Asia, these are some aggressive, formidable critters. In 2015, they were said to be on the verge of invading Australia. In addition to climbing trees, the 25 centimeter fish are said to use their pectoral fins to travel across dry land. And thanks to an air breathing organ they possess, the fish can exist on land for weeks. They're even resistant to predators. Birds and other fish that try to eat them usually choke on the perch's gills. To be honest, we could not find any pictures of the creature actually climbing trees, but the department the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries of Queensland notes the perch's bizarre ability on their official website, and that is good enough for us. Number 8. African tigerfish. These critters are found in various lakes and rivers of the continent and are known for their fearsome, proportionately large teeth. Certain species, like the Goliath tigerfish, have been known to weigh more than 150 pounds, but it's the smaller variety that made this list. Reports of smaller species of tigerfish leaping out of the water to snatch low-flying birds had circulated around Africa, but no video of a tigerfish doing so had been captured until 2014. That's when the creature was observed leaping out of the water at a South African lake to snatch a swallow out of the air. You can see images captured from that footage, and admittedly, it is blurry. But it's also considered the first definitive proof of a freshwater fish preying on a bird in flight. Hopefully, the Goliath tigerfish will not adapt a similar strategy. Number 7. Cuttlefish. Did you know cuttlefish are really mollusks or cephalopods? And they have a unique ability that allows them to blend so imperceptibly into their environment that they're almost invisible. Cuttlefish can change the color of the skin and create chromatically complex colors to match the surroundings, even though they themselves are colorblind. Researchers at the University of California, Irvine, have created a new material based on the skin of the cuttlefish that can render objects and clothing invisible under infrared light. The transparent adhesive tape material is thought to have applications for military camouflage purposes and for clothing that can adapt to hot or cold temperatures. Number 6. Hagfish. These eel-shaped marine fish do have a skull, but no vertebral column. They're the only living animals known to exhibit this physiology. They're also an ancient species, remaining essentially unchanged for some 300 million years. In all that time, the creatures have developed some unique self-defense abilities. If captured, they can exude a gooey mucus or slime that can expand into 20 liters of gelatinous material when combined with the water. The slime has been shown to clog up the gills of predator fish, making it difficult for them to breathe. If that tactic fails, the hagfish can literally tie itself into an overhand knot. The knot slides from head to tail, scraping off the slime as it goes and releasing it from its captor. Researchers think the knotting behavior enables the hagfish to clear its own gills. Otherwise, it might be killed by its own slime. Number five. Sea cucumbers. These creatures have a novel ability that allows them to squeeze into or 
out of tight spaces at will. The collagen that forms the body wall can be loosened or contracted at will. If it needs to squeeze through a crevice, the animals will essentially liquefy its body and pour itself into the space. Upon reaching its destination, the sea cucumber will make its body firm again by hooking all of its collagen fibers together. Did you know these creatures also have a unique method of self-defense? When startled, they're known to use a process experts refer to as evisceration. The sea cucumber will eject part of its guts through the anus to scare off predators like fish and crabs. Number 4. Mimic Octopus these cephalopods are found in the Indo-Pacific, and as the name implies, they're quite skilled at assuming the identities of local species. They have pigment sacs called chromatophores, enabling them to change the color of their skin and texture in order to stay camouflaged within their environment. Chromatophores also allow the animal to assume the very shape of various marine objects and animals as well. Normally, it's a smaller octopus, growing to around two feet, including the arms, and its natural color is brown to beige. More often, it will exhibit a striped pattern, intending to evoke a toxic species and discourage predators. It's called a mimic octopus due to its shape-changing ability. Among the more common creatures it can imitate include the venomous lionfish and sea snake. Number 3. The Mantis Shrimp these marine crustaceans are sometimes referred to as thumb splitters due to their ability to inflict severe lacerations if handled improperly. That's due to their robust hammer-like claws, which are designed for close quarters combat. They're known to throw the fastest punch of any animal with a velocity comparable to a 22 caliber bullet. That creates an effect called cavitation bubbles, which releases a shock wave that is strong enough to stun or kill the attacker. These creatures are also noted for having one of the most elaborate visual systems ever discovered. Mantis shrimp possess 16 types of color receptor cones, allowing them to perceive ultraviolet colors well beyond the range of humans who have only three color receptor cones. Number two. Planarians. These freshwater flatworms are known for their regenerative abilities. For instance, if you decapitate one of these creatures, it will grow a new head. Researchers have found that the new head will actually retain the memories developed by the old one before it was removed. Experiments were conducted where some planarians were trained to tolerate light, which they normally avoid. Their heads were cut off, and some weeks later, after the noggins regenerated, they still exhibited a tolerance to light. Experts aren't completely sure how this occurred. And did you know these flatworms can actually regrow an entire body from a single cell? Scientists from MIT bombarded a test subject with massive doses of radiation. The single cell of a healthy adult flatworm was placed within the tail of the dying subject. As that new cell started to divide, an entirely new body was regenerated within two weeks, genetically identical to that of the single transplanted cell. Number 1. Solar-powered sea slug. Eastern emerald Elysia almost sounds like it could be a bizarre hybrid of a sea slug and a plant, but for the record, it is a sea slug. The creature eats green algae, but in a process scientists still don't fully comprehend, the sea slug hijacks a gene from the algae. It then incorporates that gene into its own chromosomes, enabling it to use the sun's rays to convert carbon dioxide and water into a source of nutrients to sustain it. The animal can essentially photosynthesize not unlike a plant. In some pictures by Nicholas E. Curtis and Ray Martinez, you can see just how much the creature resembles a green plant leaf. It even has a network of veins that are extremely plant-like. Many of the same features can be found in pictures by Patrick Krug, along with how the animal seems to wrap itself up. As you study the pictures from all three photographers, the plant-like illusion is only shattered by the slug's head. It always is at the top of the leaf-like object and has two protuberances that Jut out. Researchers think the sea slug's ability to hijack plant genes, as it were, might be adapted to treat human diseases. 